Welcome to Module 4, Lesson 15. Today we'll be learning how to apply knowledge of area to determine areas of rooms in a given floor plan. We are learning this so that we can use area models to apply properties of multiplication. And we'll know that we're successful when we can find the area of items in a floor plan. Make sure to stay till the end of the video so that you can practice what you learn in the redraw right question. Let's get started. Here are some strategies that we can use to find area. We can multiply the side lengths. We can decompose and add. We can subtract the smaller rectangle. Let's use strategies to help Kayla find the area of the rooms in her home. First, name the strategy we will use. So for the living room, we have a rectangle. That means that we can just multiply the length times the width to find the area. So our strategy is multiply side lengths. For the bathroom, again, we have a rectangle, which means that we can multiply the side lengths. For the bedroom, we have a rectangle that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So instead of multiplying eight times seven, I'm going to try decompose and add. For the hallway, it's a rectangle, so we can multiply the side lengths. But for the kitchen, this is an odd shaped figure. It's not a rectangle. For this one, I'm going to look at the outside of the complete rectangle. That would be the kitchen and the hallway together. And I'm going to subtract what I note the area to be of the hallway to find the kitchen. Subtract the smaller rectangle. Now we're going to find the area of each room. So the living room is one, oops. The living room is 40 square units. I multiplied four times 10 because the side links are four and 10 and four times 10 equals 40. For the bathroom, I multiplied three times four equals 12. So the area of the bathroom is 12 square units. For the bedroom, I found that the area is 56 square units. And I found that by decomposing and I'm going to use a fives fact. So one, two, three, four, five 
times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five times seven is thirty five. So that leaves an area down here of three times seven. is 21 for this area. So now I can just add 35 plus 21 equals 56 square units. So I broke it apart and then I added the two areas together. Okay, for the hallway, I found the answer to be 15 square units, and I know this because 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 times 5 equals 15. Now that I know the area of the hallway, I can find the area of the kitchen. So I'll start by finding the area of the whole outside rectangle. And that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6 times 8. equals 48 square units. Now that I know that the whole rectangle is 48 square units, I can subtract the hallway from the whole rectangle. So 48 minus the hallway was 15, 48 minus 15 equals 33. So that's how I know that the kitchen is 33 square units. Now it's time for your redraw right question. You can pause the video, find the answer on your own, and then when you're ready, look in the description box below to compare your answer to the correct answer. So Erica uses grid paper to create a floor plan of her side of the bedroom. Label the side links of the sh shaded areas, then find the area of each item in the room. Do your very best work and I'll see you in the next lesson.